Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I decided today that I wanted to show you how to put both a bun wig and a full wig in a pixie cut. So, the things that you need. You're going to need a wig. Um, my bun wig actually spent life as a full wig. I kind of took an old one and cut it up and it works. I cut some of the curls shorter and it looks like a mess now, but I promise you it looks uh, okay on my head. Hairspray, of course. All the bobby pins. <sighs> Possibly a tiny brush. Little teeny tiny hair elastics. And you also need whatever accessories you decide you want in your wig. Crap. For the full wig, you need a few more things. Of course, you need your lion mane. Some random things to make your wig have height. I've got an old school scrunchie from my gymnastics days. And a sock. So let's get started. Um, I already have some product in my hair. I've got this stuff in my hair. It is my favorite product for short hair ever. It's kind of like gel except elasticy and allows a little bit more movement in your head. Um, anyway, so I have this in to give my hair some texture and grip so that way the hair ties don't slide out. The first step to putting the wig in is to use a bunch of the little tiny elastic hair ties and then you're going to make a bunch of little ponytails on the top of your head. This will give a place for the combs to uh, settle in and grip and also a place for the bobby pins to stick. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and with magic a video I'll fast forward it so you don't have to sit through it all. Probably just go to the fish like this and start a new trend, maybe. Or maybe not, because that would be ridiculous. Once you have all of these little ponytails done on the top of your head, if you'd like to watch a bun wig, stay tuned. If you would like to watch how to put a big wig on, just go ahead and, uh, and skip. I think the link to where the time of the big wig is going to be down in the doobly doo. So go check that out if that's all that you want to watch. Alrighty, next step is the wig. Um, I only have one comb on my wig, so I'm going to go ahead and slide that in, and then I am going to use um, probably at least 30 of the really big bobby pins. Let's see, where was the size difference? I have one. Come here. So I've got big bobby pin, little bobby pin, and I'm going to use a lot, a lot, a lot of the big bobby pins. Um, to create an anchor, I'm going to cross the bobby pins so that way they interlock with each other and hopefully get stuck in this mess. I'm also going to use a bunch of the bobby pins to arrange the wig how I want. Um, for me personally, I don't like any of this loose jingling curly things. I like it to all be really tight on my head, so that's why I use at least 30 bobby pins. Um, I think one time I used 60 and... I had a really, 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 really big wig headache. It was awful. Alright, my wig is arranged. So the next step is I'm going to start fixing my bangs a little bit, as well as putting my head pieces in, like my tiara and um, the other accessories that I put with my wig. Uh, I like to use my hairspray to make sure my bangs stay still or else, you know, when you get sweaty and dancing and they do this shaky thing and they get really distracting and then they stick together in weird ways. So I'm going to grab my hairspray and start arranging those and I'm going to pin my tiara in and put my other clips in and then I'll show you the finished product for the bun wig in a pixie hair cut. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake your hairspray, shake your hairspray.
And with that, my bun wig is now finished. I've got little wings in my hair. Uh, Captain America has wings on his helmet. And I saw these on Etsy and I knew I had to have them to go with my Captain America dress. Um, so bought them and then of course rhinestone them because it's Irish dance. So go ahead and stay tuned and I will show you how I put on a big wig in my pixie cut. Next step for the big wig is going to be putting and more sets of little ponytails, but this time at the nape of your neck, so that way the bottom comb has somewhere to stick. So I'm going to turn around and I will show you doing that, and then we'll attach the big wig to the head. Before I put the big wig on, I lied. Actually, we're not going to put the big wig on next. Um, before we put that on, I'm going to make sure that my wig has some height, because that's all the rage at the moment is having a really high wig, so I'm going to try and um, fix this with some height. I'm going to use, like I said, my scrunchie and a long sock. Hopefully that will <laughs> add some height to my wig. Right now I look extra ridiculous and this time we can actually put the big wig on. I personally just attach the front combs first and then do the back combs. You can do it however you like as long as you get it in. Goodness, that changes things. How did I ever live with long hair? Next step is to put all the bobby pins in it because you don't want it to fall off your head while you're dancing or while you're doing your team dances. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not actually dancing and I don't want to pin this big wig in because it's a pain. What I am going to do next is I'm going to turn my little part of bangs into some kind of poof. This seems like a job for a hairspray. I could just slick my hair back like this and look ridiculous. What did I do? And there you have the world's tiniest poof. Last step, I suppose, is to attach your headband or your large crystal tiara, whatever you have, uh, if you have a headband. Um, when you attach it, make sure that you don't just have it go in straight. No, that's not how you do it. You have to have it go on your head, mostly facing up and down. As such. I also like to make sure that there are some curls in front of the headband to hide the front of my hair. And you need to go over here because you're blocking the headband. Of course then you pin in your headband, however you do that, and then pray to the Fesh Gods that your big wig doesn't fall off of your head because if it does, then you have a problem. But if it doesn't fall off, then you know, you're golden, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. I hope that I was able to help you put a bun wig or a full wig into your pixie cut. If you have any questions, um, you can contact me by going to my blog, which is rinkagobra.blogspot.com. The link is in the doobly-doo. Good luck and uh, jig on, Irish dancers.